Okay. Plant number five. Anybody know it? You know it by the leaf. Right? And this is just... Life doesn't get any better. So, Tropalum. Right? Tropalum. Tropalum is in the uh, Tropaliaceae family. I just need to show you this and we'll come back to it, okay? So this Tropalum was planted by Mr. Keats, Dylan. Nice, nicely done, Dylan. It was planted on February 5th, okay? This fine fellow, this Rosmarinus, was planted also on February 5th, okay? And you can see the difference in production. This is what makes Tropalum one of a, 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 just a great plant to do to grow with kids because it, you know, we're now March 25th, um, Rosemary. It's been pretty boring to watch for the last almost two months, right? But the Tropalum, well, it's going gangbusters. So, uh, Tropalum, Tropaliaceae, Tropalum, the one I would like you to learn is Tropalum magus, which is the commonly called uh, nasturtium. Okay? Nice one, Dylan. Come on now. So, uh, nasturtium, we, we, I grow this in the garden for a couple of reasons. It is, it has a peppery, I, you know, it's okay. I typically eat the flower more than the leaf. Yep. Yep. Nice peppery flavor. The flower is beautiful red or yellow and orange. Uh, great in a salad. Um, not so much the leaf, it's a little bit, you know, meh. Uh, but um, we, I, so I put this in the tomatoes and I never water them because uh, if I water and fertilize, it attracts aphids right away, right? And we, we'll talk about that in greenhouse class a little bit with uh, aphids in our next lecture. But um, typically, I just, oops, sorry, everybody. Typically, I just kind of leave this plant in the rows and it flowers, it does its thing, the ground cover, it spreads really wide. It usually doesn't grow up the tomato vines. But what it does is, other than providing a really great uh, flower for, you know, something pretty to look at and something pretty in your salad, it, it, I uh, use it as a trap plant. And that's an important thing to pay attention to, okay? So write that down, trap plant. And what it is, is if there are conditions, like if it rains a lot and um, the plants are kind of growing a little bit too fast and we start getting pest pressures, nasturtium or tropalum we will be the first one to get aphids. And that's kind of one of the reasons that I grow it. Um, I just watch this for pests and then when it gets it, oftentimes it will get it and the tomatoes won't. But um, if it does get it, I don't mind hacking this down and um, letting it come back to get rid of the, the aphid problem um, because I'm not, I don't spray our herb garden or vegetables, of course. So I just kind of keep this as a sacrificial, you know, really pretty, um, tasty, Plant, lovely ground cover, but it also, it's my indicator plant for aphids and a trap plant. So they're going to go there. Lovely pollinator plant too. Usually when the bees are buzzing, they're in and out of this guy, like it's on fire. So tropalum magus is what you need to remember. Tropaliac. The only plant, plant or plant the only plant I know in the Tropaliaceae family. Um, so full sun and typically the soil is, doesn't really matter, right? We have it all over our garden. I never water it and I never fertilize it. I sow it directly, usually, you know, plant the tomatoes and sprinkle some seeds in the row and it'll come up pretty quick. 
Um, okay, so that is plant number five, tropelum. All right, we're doing well.